John Kana. Son of Sarakana, you don't have to be afraid. I have my big gun here. We gotta get out of here now. They are coming right through the door. We gotta get out of here now, I'm telling you. Hey there, welcome to the channel. So for those of you who are new, I am Oz and this is my really dirty 2018 Mustang GT, which I do care about a lot and I try to care, take care of it, but uh, Based on how it looks now, you may think he's an idiot, this guy, just posting this type of video. But, with that said, this car was clean two days ago, and the weather is crazy bananas here in Sweden. You got uh, all sorts of... yeah, I don't want to go there. Anyhow, you might have uh, clicked on, the, on this video, maybe to my awesome, <laughs> lovely picture, or... Uh, actually based on the title uh, which is can you drive your car without touching it my answer to that question is both yes and no and in this video I'll uh, talk you through it and uh, the main intention for this video is for those of you who have been thinking of uh, different ways of drying your car potentially drying it in a quicker way and also by not touching the car, you're minimizing the risk of uh, potential scratches, swirl marks, etc. So uh, let's walk through how I dry my car and what results I have been seeing. So in uh, general, most people use different type of drying towels. This one I love. It's a really, really plush drying towel, which uh, I previously predominantly used for uh, more or less the whole car and it works great. You have these type of uh, waffle towels, uh, you have your uh, microfiber cloths or uh, any other type of uh, drying towel. These are really great and they do really work. However, as long as you're touching your car, you're always having a risk of uh, potentially scratching it or uh, getting uh, swear marks on the paint so uh, I have been uh, previously also when I've been using these I've been using uh, my com compressed air to blow out the water in the nooks and crannies which I can't access then with a drying towel so I started to look at different options and uh, there are multiple options of drying your car with air uh, one of them being uh, the Metrovac Master Blaster 2000K whatever, which what well, to me it was too expensive. It's around uh, four hundred dollars, I think, and uh, to me it's not worth it. So I continued looking, and then I found out, or found out, uh, newsflash, uh, that you could use a leaf blower to dry the car. So I started looking at what leaf blowers. Uh, that I potentially wanted to have and uh, the most versatile ones are of course the ones which are uh, operated by a battery however if you want to have a leaf blower which is strong enough uh, the, those cost quite a lot around 150 200 dollars almost because the batteries are really expensive however it's very versatile because you can walk around the car without uh, having to worry about the cord etc but with that said, I ended up with a Leafs, sorry, Works Leaf Blower, which I purchased from uh, Amazon UK for around, I think it was 52 British pounds, which is around roughly around 50 US dollars. And I'll show it to you right now. So this is the leaf blower I am using. So it's a Works. WG518E, so it's a 2,500 watt leaf blower with a long, 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 long cord, as you can see. I'll put the specs uh, in the video. Uh, I don't want to uh, talk a lot of mumbo jumbo and uh, keep it short. It has uh, multiple settings. Uh, I more or less all the time use the highest setting. And as you can see, the nozzle though is quite big. 
first I was thinking of actually doing some mods to it and uh, funnel it down to a smaller uh, nozzle and uh, wider perhaps but I haven't done so yet it works really great when the car is clean if let's say I have the car the way it is now and uh, we get water on the uh, on the surface here the leaf floor will uh, will blow the water away but it will not blow it away in the same manner when the surface is clean and you don't have all of these uh, uh, dirt on it which actually catches the water more or less because it becomes friction so however uh, I'll put a picture of how my paint job looked today and uh, it's a lot of beading etc. So all the water, how should I say, which has already beaded, uh, that will actually get blown away but you will still have a like a matte, how should I say, finish of water left on the surface. Usually the hood and the roof are uh, rather easy to uh, uh, blow away. Sorry for that. But when we get to areas such as the doors, as you can see, this is really dirty. I'll uh, post a video of how uh, the leaf blower uh, performs when the car is completely clean. And also for areas which have been rinsed off, but not uh, cleaned with a sponge, etc. Like a full treatment. Just uh, degreaser, wash it off, and then uh, uh, rinsing it off with water or uh, shampoo or something similar. However, you will see that areas like this, which are not fully clean, by fully clean I mean you have not mechanically removed any of the debris on the paint, the water will not get blown away with the leaf blower. However, with that said, even though the paint looks like this, uh, I try to, when I am uh, have used the car when it has been raining, or if I rinsed off the car uh, at a car wash just to get the worst uh, debris off the car, I use the leaf blower to try to uh, do minimize water spots, as you can see, by blowing off as much as possible. But today I didn't have the time, so unfortunately the car looks like hell. However, with that said also, what, what one of the benefits with using a leaf blower or actually using compressed air is that you get access or access to blow water which are in this type of uh, the honeycomb mesh here on the hood vents in these type of areas like this down here in the grill and so on this is really great for that because usually your uh, uh, drying towels etc will not have access to those areas other areas where a blower or a compressed air is useful are around the lamps around any type of badges you might have I tend to use it more or less all the time to blow around these areas here around the door as well to get the water off I use it to get the water off in the door sills I use it to get the water off in these areas here where it's really difficult to access with a drying towel also, other applications when using uh, the blower is to actually dry your wheels uh, quickly, especially if you have wheels like these with uh, 1 billion spokes, which are a pain in the ass to keep clean, first of all. 
and then to dry out. So with a leaf blower or a compressed air, etc., it makes it go much quicker. And also, if you're doing this outside and don't intend to drive your car out uh, right away after washing it, you can uh, get rid of as much water as possible from the rotors to uh, minimize the risk of uh, rust. You could say, maybe, why don't you take your car outside and uh, brake for a little bit to heat up the rotors and put it back in the garage. Well, if it's snowing outside like today, I don't want to bring my car outside when I've been washing it for one and a half hours. So uh, as you can see and uh, hear from what I'm saying, the use of a leaf blower specifically, this one is not even expensive. Uh, there are multiple applications which you can use it for, one being drying off uh, large portions of the vehicle. If you have taken care of your uh, paint with uh, paint protection, sealant, wax, etc. and you have cleaned it and you use a blower, I promise you on the larger areas, once you have worked out how to blow the car, I mean you can't just take one side and blow it through it to the middle and then take from the other side and uh, do something else because then you're just shifting the water around so you need to have a uh, way of working. I of course then usually start with the roof and go backwards and then I go one side at a time and then I work my way forward. So once you have learned the technique of how to use it and uh, again then if you have mechanically uh, washed the car so to speak not just rinsing it off depending on how dirty it is of course and if uh, you have some type of paint pr protection by using the leaf blower I would, it's difficult to say, but 90-95% of the water on the larger panels you can remove without actually touching the car. Then you will have water in the nooks and crannies which will splash up etc. So it is difficult to hunt all of those uh, water beads etc. with the leaf blower. Then you might need to use a drying towel. Also, as we saw, the nooks and crannies, which I just mentioned, and the weeds, etc. So it is really useful with a leaf blower, and you're actually minimizing the risk of scratching your paint by using it instead of using the uh, microfiber towels or uh, uh, drying towels, etc. Again, then, I can, to an extent, dry the car, even if it's like really dirty with the leaf blower, but I mean, you don't want to touch your car when it looks like this with a drying towel. You would scratch up the whole paint. So, with that said, would I recommend it? Yes, it depends on uh, how meticulous you are and how interested you are in more gadgets. And also how interested you are in car detailing, etc. I mean, you can pick uh, similar, I don't know if uh, these type of blowers are available uh, everywhere in the world, but similar will be available for similar prices. You can pick one and use it. If you live in a house, you can use it for uh, blowing leaves. <clears throat> so uh, I would recommend it if you are somewhat interested of car detailing and maintaining the paint of your car then go for it. Uh, I give it two thumbs up. With that said though, as you can see I have a rather small garage. Using this leaf floor inside of this garage I use it um, multiple times a week. It is a bit cumbersome. Uh, you hit the shelves or uh, you hit the walls or it becomes rather heavy to have in certain angles for a longer period of time again then it's winter time here i don't want to stay outside doing this in the summertime you could of course do it outside or if you have a large enough garage then there is no issues also things to consider is when you use uh, the leaf floor it's really really strong any debris you have on the floor or if you're outside and you have uh, loose stones etc that will just blow away so you need to be cautious and uh, you need to have a clean floor etc. So if, it, if you have a lot of dirt on your floor and you 
use the leaf blower to blow the car, you get dust on the paint, and then you use your uh, towel to do the last finishing touches. Mm. No. No. However, then, with that said, I am evolving my uh, drying aid machine park. So I have actually ordered something new from Amazon, which I will be posting a separate video on. All right, guys, thanks for bearing with me to the end of the video. Uh, so we will wrap the video up. Uh, let me know what you think. How are you drying your car? Are you using a leaf blower? Do you think I'm an idiot using a leaf blower? Do you have any other methods which minimizes the risk of drying your car and keeping it clean without scratching it? Just let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Give me a thumbs down if you don't like the video. Anyhow, subscribe if you like. Until the next time, see you.